Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Apostle, but I'm a hard-working person. This finance, I've done my best. The only thing I've not done is to steal. The money does not want to come to me. This is what I'm saying. Are we together now? There are parents who will not even give their own children money. And yet they will package it and come and say, Man of God, I've been looking for you. I just want to bless you. And you are wondering, is this fair? But you see, our realities are defined by the lights that we command. Hallelujah. I know a whole family true story a whole family that mysteriously just had HIV yes whole family and it started by someone having a dream where someone came with a syringe and said this one is blood infected and injected the person in the dream and the person woke up physically and then symptoms started they went to the hospital and they said you've, you've had this for a long time you did not know how did it come how God anointed Jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about everything my father has not planted in the name of jesus christ whether it's in your blood and your body i decree and declare it must go down this night there is something that when you find a body of truth that when you find ladies and gentlemen you will command the anointing in a way that will surprise you there is a body of truth that when you find a generation must listen to you there is a body of truth that when you find you will become such a blessing to people there is a body of truth that when you find you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delightsome land. There is a body of truth that when you find, you can know that no nation can reject you. It does not matter their sentiments. There is a body of truth that if you find, you will command wealth and abundance in a way that people would think you went to a herbalist or you caught a human head. Do you believe this? You are gathered tonight because God is determined determined to see to it that this the products of light speak in your life but be angry with darkness right where you are seated whether outside or inside and those following online I want you to imagine for one minute the various areas of darkness in your life that have refused to go and take responsibility I have left it that is why the reason why a job has not come is because I have been going around dropping my CV but I have not dropped my CV on the word I am yet to find the component the Bible says that one time the, the owner of the vineyard was inviting men to come to the vineyard and he found some people idle and he said why sittest thou idle they say no man employers immediately he called them and they were they were brought in see the kingdom only works from the lens of the light you have hallelujah do you believe that apostle i'm a good person but people don't like me nobody is liked by default the world is too wicked for people to just like you by default there is a grace the light of God's favor that comes upon the face of a man that will compel people to like you from nation to nation but there is a body of truth that controls that do you understand my teaching tonight that darkness is responsible for most of the chaos in our lives and that this darkness is twofold one spiritual forces that militate against the purposes of god in your life and then number two darkness manifesting as ignorance bankruptcy of spiritual knowledge bankruptcy of understanding is called darkness among the many disasters of darkness the worst is that it gives you a false identity this is not me 
this life is not me no this reproach does not belong to me i'm carrying another man's destiny where is my destiny that destiny that represents beauty and color and grace and power if you're with me say amen, amen. you must get angry at darkness and make up your mind you're a man of God here you must make up your mind by the spirit that ministry must work for me the Bible says to give diligence to these things to make your calling and your election sure it is your responsibility to stop men from doubting the call of God upon your life and you do that by studying to show yourself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth hallelujah you are in business and things are not working it's time for you to find out from the word of God this is darkness every time you see what does not make manifest what brings fear what keeps spirits at work in your life everything that is sponsored by ignorance is called darkness and you must get angry in the name of jesus and take responsibility why am i not able to feed and take care of my family the bible says any man that cannot cater for his family has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel i am not an infidel you say what is this joblessness this embarrassment there has to be a way out i will be on a journey searching for light and that light shines through darkness and in a moment you drive away darkness only to give road to glory and grace and power so jesus looks at the man at bethesda and says stand up pick up your bed walk away and that was the end of it that is the light of the world hallelujah you see the beautiful thing about light is that true light does not fade the sun has been shining before any of us arrived here and it has never needed assistance your phone because it was artificially made you need to recharge it no matter how bright it shines some of us your phone is on four percent now three percent one is almost some is even off you have it can come back but not for now but the sun when it is dark in nigeria as far as the sun is concerned there has never been darkness in its economy Darkness is simply a product of geography. If you ask the sun, where is darkness? You say, I don't know. From the day I was established, I have never seen it. It is simply the rotation of the earth that is responsible for that theory we have today. As far as the sun is concerned, it does not rise. It does not go down. Darkness, it does not share dominion with darkness. If you go and ask the sun to lecture you, the sun will say from the time the earth was created, there has only been light. And you say, but you are lying. You say, well, based on where you live, but as far as I am concerned as the sun. Are we together now? How do you tell the sun that there was once darkness? You say, I, 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 I respect you, but you are lying. Based on my reality, you are lying. There has never been darkness. Kai, this is powerful. My goodness. So if your life becomes like that sun, even if you are in Egypt, there will be light in Goshen. Whereas there's darkness everywhere. And people will ask you and say, how is this happening to you? That we know that things, they are downsizing and this is happening. But it looks like you have used the word of God to create another kind of reality. Now you understand what it means by let your light so shine before men. If God is asking your light to shine, light does not shine in light. It shines in darkness. Are we together now? There was a parable of the lost coin. There's no time to touch on that. We'll deal with that tomorrow. And the Bible says somebody who had a valuable treasure, coin, coin can help you to buy things. And it was lost. It was in the room, but he could not find it. And for as long as he could not find it, there was nothing he could do. The Bible says the first approach to that restoration was the man lit his candle. 
Then number two, he took a broom and he started sweeping in the presence of light until he found it. And he called everybody and said, come and rejoice with me. Light has helped me to find something that is mine, is in the room, but not in my hands. Light can help you find your job that is in Lagos, but not yet in your hand. Light can help you find your health that is around, but not yet in your life. Everything that should be in your life is already within your domain. It takes light to fish your portion and bring it to you. Hallelujah. Till today and till forever, I remain a student of scripture. Do you know why? Because... I'm on a project to not spare anything that looks like darkness in my life. I consistently upgrade. You see, you can have light and yet your light is not bright enough. So you continue learning. You continue growing. You continue building. You don't say I have a little light. Your phone has light, but it's not enough to light this place. So if you depend on your phone lighting, you will never know the beauty of this auditorium. It takes light, high level light, placed at various positions. If you have light in only one area of your life, that will be the only area you will be able to see. You see that the lights here are placed across several places and that's why they are giving us light. We can see everywhere the beauty of this auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to cry unto God and say, this area of darkness that has dwelt in my life, that has dwelt in my finances, my marriage, my health, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I will still show you one more scripture to wrap up, but whilst you are seated, I'd like you to pray. Father, I am ready to deal with darkness. I am ready in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that represents darkness in my life and my destiny, now is the time and now is the moment you must leave. And I'd like you to pray. Every ignorance, bankruptcy of truth, that was the true light that lighted every man Go ahead and pray. Is someone pray. yes sir the lord is hearing you man of god the lord is hearing you hearing your cry darkness in ministry Darkness in your health, darkness in your finances, it's time for it to go in the name of Jesus. That the grace and the glory of the Lord that has been ordained to radiate from your life, it must show up. I have allowed the reign of darkness for far too long. I now take responsibility. hallelujah hallelujah first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him listen let me tell you this Years ago, I remember one day I was meditating on this scripture and I'm saying this to the glory of God. And I remember in that vision, 
while I was meditating, it, it was a dream, I would say, and I slept and I saw myself standing before presidents of nations and shaking hands and they were greeting. And when I came back, I said, wow. And then I read this scripture again. And the Lord told me that if you will get light, this will be your destiny, that you will stand before the great. Looking back today, I'm almost in tears because God does not lie. You see, God does not lie. That the people you think are great will look at you and call you great because light elevated you to an enviable position where you become an inspiration to generations. There are many things I do not believe because they are products of ignorance. For instance, that you cannot rise from where you are and then the world celebrate the grace of God upon your life. Please don't believe that. Are we together? Let's finish that scripture. 1 Peter 2 and verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him that hath called you out of darkness. What did he call you into? What did he call you into? So when he calls men out of darkness, what makes you spectacular is not just the size of your body, not your voice, not necessarily your looks. It is that you are surrounded by marvelous light. So much light that darkness cannot come again. You don't tell darkness go. You tell light come. When light comes, darkness goes. Is that true? So many of us have dwelt in darkness for far too long. And the Lord is challenging you right now. Get angry. Identify the areas of darkness and insist that in this conference, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it must give way. There are many things as I wrap up that qualify to be called darkness. Let me list some of them for you in case you have forgotten. Are you ready? Number one, disfavor is darkness. Delay is darkness. Retrogression is darkness. Plagues of sicknesses and infirmity, darkness. Oppressions of, 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 of witchcraft and all kinds of things, darkness stagnation limitation is called darkness the inability to make constructive progress in your life darkness financial limitations darkness are we together threats that you go to bed and you cannot sleep in peace you wake up more tired than you were when you slept because of evil and wicked dreams the Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. But there are people, the moment they close their eyes, they begin another battle, they get up tired. What kind of oppression is that? Darkness. How about the uh, some kind of demonic cloud covering your giftings? Listen, let me tell you, I have met gifted people in my life. There are gifted people in this city. There are gifted people even within this place. I have met gifted people in ministry, gifted people in business, so much so that you wonder, why are you at this level with this kind of gift? That some of the people you are celebrating are not half as gifted as you, but there, were, there are spirits that just sit on the glory of men and not allow them rise. Gifted but limited. This conference is an opportunity that God has put together so that that veil be lifted from your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, we do not even know who you are because you are standing from a position of darkness and we cannot know whether you are the one God sent for us to bless and lift because we cannot see you. I told you that darkness, it creates an aberrated identity. You don't know who is who. You might be looking for someone and stand near the person but because it is in darkness you cannot even know light is powerful the bible says that which makes manifest is light hallelujah praise the name of the lord when jesus was born 
there was a star in the sky is that in your bible that star was so bright the magi looked at it and said no this is not just that the, the the atmosphere is bright there has to be something and they followed that light until they got to where jesus was that means there is a light that should compel men from wherever they are to say what is making there is an illumination in this church there is an il illumination in this family that they should come to right where you are and jesus as a baby he had not prayed he had not fasted there was just light over him and gifts were already coming to him before he made mention of any first prayer before he made mention of any first fasting before he even understood those who would walk with him as a baby simply because there was a light upon him the magi came and they brought to him gifts of gold of frankincense and of man how do adults worship a baby and drop gifts as a baby he could not even say thank you that is the power of light that when light is upon you, you will marvel and wonder at the things that men will do. They will leave any distance to any distance and say, are you the James they've been talking about? The Lord sent me to come and do this for you. And you will stand in awe and say, God, is this how you really move? And God says, that is what happens when you embrace light. Fight darkness. Reject darkness. Be on a campaign against darkness. Darkness especially as ignorance make up your mind that i will not be a believer that is just saved and yet wallowing in ignorance full of supposed wise sayings that do not carry any spiritual power for instance one day go better that is not an accurate scriptural statement it's just a sociological comfort for instance life is turn by turn my turn is coming see those statements you nobody's turn is coming anywhere you force the time to arrive at your i didn't get my point now yes there is the law of time and chance where potentials come towards you but if it must be your turn it happens by taking a dim the bible says right from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom suffered violent and the violent take it by force no destiny helper will come by default to help you it will take you programming your heavens for that to happen this is true hallelujah so tonight i have the assignment of challenging you to shake you up to say no there is more to your life than this you've been given all kinds of excuses leave those excuses this night you are a man of god you are you are a worship minister and nobody has discerned your grace in lagos it's a different thing if you are in your season of training if the season of training is over just know that it is darkness keeping you down and you get up and say lord i will press in light one song that will come from your spirit will make the nations to place a demand let me tell you it's not difficult to rise when light is the one that is lifting you if you try to lift yourself you will be wasting your time hallelujah i met a gentleman a few weeks ago where i was in lagos ministering at a church and i met this gentleman very fine brilliant young man and i think he's responsible for one of these inventions uh, you know are across the, the transport sector and he was speaking to me and i said ah this guy is smart this guy is very very smart and when he was telling me some of the things that he was doing with the governments of a few nations and all of that I told him I said this is wonderful but I want to pray for you there is a grace called visibility you see if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be as gifted as anything and you will remain there like many people whose tables are full of the solutions to national and transcontinental problems that if these men were called whether in government or in certain corporations the world will experience their wisdom and be grateful for it yet those people will remain there those projects will rot on the table because visibility has not been given to men i don't know who i'm speaking to but in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare again whoever needs to see you whoever needs to discern the workings of god in your hand and to lift you may god position them to see you may god position them to see you hallelujah but now hear me please and this one i will begin this night 
one of the worst forms of darkness the worst manifestation of darkness that I know of is sickness and infirmity please listen I've been sick before I know what it means for your body or any aspect of your body to deteriorate and to be in pain if you've never been sick before you will not you will not appreciate the power the healing power of Jesus Christ darkness you see everybody is given the privilege of having one body per lifetime are we together yes nobody as much as we know science has not perfected the art of transferring a soul into another body we've not seen that happen yet so you are given only one body per lifetime please let me have your attention whatever happens to that body it literally sustains the ability to end your life whether your time is there or not and how many of you know that the only authorization you have to remain upon the earth is that not that you have a body that your body is healthy enough to keep your spirit in it are we together there is a health a threshold health requirement that if your body goes below your spirit will have to leave whether it is your time or not are we together now that means anything that tries to disturb the health of your body is attempting to administer death to your life and you should not tolerate it are we together now this is very important we have all kinds of sicknesses that disturb people and and rob them of the liberty to enjoy beauty and color the man called hezekiah great king and yet this man was about to die and the prophet came and said put your house in order you are going to die and he said no no god you whatever it is that you do cannot allow the dominion of darkness no wonder the bible says the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. there is a spirit that is wasting the lives of people across you see vibrant strong people my head my head and the next thing they say the person has gone now i am not getting you emotional if you've lost a loved one that's fine but i i came here to on an assignment and one of it is that this plague of sickness infirmity and death these are spirits and like any other form of darkness they can be kept at bay are we together now this is true you have to believe it so i used to have these demon spirits come to press me years ago literally like you're pressing someone to die and i'm wondering what did i do until i found out there are people who had that experience and never woke up again they just said the person went to bed and died it's, it's only if you have an opportunity to go to heaven that the person will say i did not die i was killed these wicked spirits from the realm of the spirit no devil will take your life before your time <laughs> hallelujah i know of a young man who graduated very fine young man true story he came to collect his certificate and was on a bike and a car just came out i don't know whether the man was all right or not and just cleared he died instantly the only son of his mother hallelujah if you are here and you have that kind of story in your family when we begin to pray i like you to believe that that satanic plague must leave you that the last death that occurred around your family is the last don't say it always happens no by light i end this demonic satanic manifestation <laughs> hallelujah you know how many times people have seen me dead i refuse to die oh, that's why i'm alive sometimes i'd want to take a trip and sincere people anointed people who say apostle please don't go we've seen a ghastly motor accident but i have to go and minister these people are, are waiting what do i tell them i can't come for your conference because they said i would die what am i coming to preach then How, who am i coming to help
sure some of you are apostles don't speak like this. So speak like that. That is exactly the fear I want to drive out of your life. It says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The righteous are as bold as a lion. But your boldness is not based on nothing. Your boldness is based on light. That you can stand with light and stand in peace and know that in the name of Jesus, the word of God will work for me. There's nothing the devil can do about a man who has found light. His assignment is to stop sufficient light from getting to you. But once that light has arrived, you will arise and then you will shine. It's in your Bible. It says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. You see, if you refuse light and I accept light, your refusing light does not affect me. Are we together now? When it has to do with the ministry of light, it is personal. I can only encourage you, but surrounding yourself with the light that gives you victory is entirely your responsibility. Hallelujah. So tonight, within the few minutes that we have, I want to speak. I'm going to speak over your life. And then would have, for every of the sessions who will do this, this plague of sickness and death, and death, we're about to enter what we call the ember months. It has even become a, it's almost like an unwritten season. So once they say ember months, people begin to shake and say, so this is it. Who is going to go now? Must somebody die because it's the ember months? I hope you are not angry that I'm challenging you. I came to provoke you in your spirit to say this year, I will not lose any of my loved ones. That in the name of Jesus Christ, you can, you must insist that by the power of the Holy Ghost. And while you are saying it, the devil will be telling you, but they diagnose something. They, every tree that has not been planted by my father, that is the confidence of the believer. No, oh, every tree that has not been planted, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Man of God, you will not die. That devil lying to you that you will preach and then die on stage. No, sir. With long life shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray. I just sense strong in my spirit. I will speak over your life, but I want us to pray. I don't know why God is putting it in my heart to rebuke the spirit of death. In one minute or, the, or two minutes, you're going to mention both your name and everybody God has brought around you and declare the covering of the blood that you will not hear bad news. No death. Please, someone pray. Be serious. Outside, those following online, lift your voice and pray. The Bible says, with long life, shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I shall not leave. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Someone pray. Pray. The sound of death, the sound of mourning will not be heard. In my house, nor my habitation. Someone with faith, pray. Mention the name of your children. Hallelujah. Please look at me. In Jesus' name. While still praying, it's not only men that can die. Things can die. Like a business can die. Like influence can die. Like reputation can die. So when I say prophesy life, it's not only life in terms of your existence you will speak to anything that can have life whether it is your business whether it is your influence it will not die open your mouth and pray death will not be around my habitation 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Death will not be around my habitation. Whatever God does is forever. Yes, sir. Go ahead and pray. The works of your hands will not die. The influence God has given you, he says, I will bless you and I will make your name great. A man's name can die. Your relevance can fade away. But I like you to refuse. Pray in the name of Jesus. Preserve those appointed unto death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still praying. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected king. We are going to pray. You know the areas of darkness in your life. Please look at me. Look at me. I don't want you to keep quiet and I don't want you to be ashamed and embarrassed. Every area where you have not seen result, genuine, consistent result, mention it by name and say in this conference, the, the darkness that sponsors the reign of that pain or that evil must give way. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. My life must bring glory to Jesus. My life must bring glory to Jesus. Contend in the name of Jesus. If it's your finances, mention it. You may not know what dimension of light but identify the darkness there you must change sickness up and down oppression up and down retrogression up and down no joy today replaced by sorrow someone is praying someone is praying someone is praying Someone is praying. Pray from the depth of your heart. It's a word and prayer conference. Make sure you are praying. Darkness. Darkness. Your time is up financial darkness marital darkness darkness in the area of fruitfulness darkness in the area of career darkness in the area of ministry someone who is angry in your spirit go ahead and pray it must give way the plague of divorce in this family the plague of poverty and failure and sickness untimely death on fruitfulness in ministry bankruptcy of influence and visibility you must give way in the name of Jesus disappointed expectations take a minute to pray 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 of the balcony are you praying the overflows outside make sure you are praying the lord sees your heart you are praying
pray pray the flesh may be weak but the spirit is willing God has spoken great things concerning you do not be silent pray go ahead and pray pray and I will not be silent I will always worship you as long as I am breathing I will always worship you and I will I will not be silent I will always worship Hallelujah. Say after me, Father, Father. Please shout it. Say, Father, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every manifestation of darkness in my life, it gives way now. Open your mouth and pray. Gives way now. Gives way now. Are there people of prayer here? It gives way now. Mothers pray. Fathers pray. Pray. The reign of darkness. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray please don't be tired something is happening in the spirit Genesis 1 5 Genesis 1 5 please help us media Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5 the Bible says let me just read for sake of time God called the light day and the darkness he called night so light has a name another name for light is day and another name for darkness is night and the bible says weeping endures for as long as it is night once you are in darkness crying does not come to an end it says but joy comes with the morning that means it is not the chronological passage of time that causes day and night it is the presence or the absence of light it is night now geographically speaking but it can become day when you have light hallelujah there are many of us whether it is 12 noon whether it's 6 a.m. in the morning 6 p.m. in the night 12 midnight spiritually you are perpetually in the night because it is darkness that is the reason why you cry in the morning you cry in the afternoon because weeping is connected to night hallelujah the bible says but joy comes with the morning and morning is not 6 a.m morning is any time your light comes therefore you are going to pray that in the name of Jesus my heart is open to receive light that is your next prayer point please open your mouth and pray my heart is open to receive light understanding spiritual illumination ah someone is praying Lord the light component it takes to arise and to shine to reveal 
your glory to my world that my life commands the excellency of the kingdom i obtain that grace my heart is open ah my heart is open light that damages ignorance open my heart is open i see this conference as a spiritual investment that finally i have a chance to put together the truths the light that will liberate me indeed hallelujah hallelujah jesus said and ye shall know the truth he never said being around the truth sets you free he never even said having access to the truth sets you free ye shall know the truth ye shall know the truth ye shall know the truth from tomorrow we're going to be exploring the truth the light component that is responsible for the various aspects of our Christian life that at the end of these sessions you will stand you can wave yesterday goodbye and know that it is gone for good and forever in the name of Jesus but for someone here who came with any kind of satanic medical report just place your hand I want to pray just to speak over your life and then I will also rebuke the spirit of death. This thing is not leaving me. I will still pray it. When God is insisting on something like this, it's because he wants to avert tears from a family. This is why he has said, if this is the only reason it is worth it. You're trusting God for a miracle, just place your hand on your chest. Father, there are several people who have come inside and outside, many following online. They have come to access the truth and to know it. The truth that liberates, the truth that sets free. Right now I am praying, first and foremost, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, you have been seeing dead people in your dreams. You go to bed and what you are uh, interacting with dead people, things that have to do with the grave, I decree and declare, whatever from the grave is calling you and saying you must come and join us i severe that relationship now for the bible says what fellowship has light got to do with darkness i'm saying it again if there is anyone who is being called into untimely death by dreams prophetic experiences ill speakings of men activities of witchcraft i decree and i declare right now this moment here at new heritage baptist church in the name of jesus the son of the living god let the spirit of death live your life forever and if you have seen any one of your loved ones whether in dreams or visions dying we cancel it right now anyone here suffering any kind of blood disease i'm seeing a thermometer rising and falling high blood pressure in the name of jesus christ i command that bp to go down eye conditions be healed now any organ failure in your body for some of you, the organ may be so failed that you may need a replacement. May God, who is the greatest physician, in the name of Jesus, let him bring you a replacement now. Be 
healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. One of the truths in the kingdom is the power of the prophetic. When it is administered within the boundary of scripture, the prophetic can work wonders. I want to speak over someone that in the name of Jesus, for many of you, before you get home, I say this as one sent by God. In the name of Jesus, something that has not happened in your life from January till now, may it happen this night. May it happen this night. A call you have not received, may you receive it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah and for someone here any long-standing issue in your life it has refused to give way maybe health maybe your job problems in your office maybe your spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ tonight as Dagon fell before the ark let that problem fall before the feet of Jesus hallelujah for someone you will wake up tomorrow with a text with an email demanding for you from people who have rejected you and I mean what I'm saying hallelujah praise the name of the Lord the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of Jesus my God the one who helps men I decree and declare between tonight and this week finishing may that favor testimony rest upon your life hallelujah hallelujah and for someone here one of the blessings that you are receiving tonight is not just material money or favor what you are receiving tonight is a restoration of your spiritual fire a restoration of your spiritual fire because the truth is that God began to walk in your life because of a glorious prophetic destiny but somewhere along the line either through carelessness or through discouragement you just stop your walk with God and and it's like you you dismiss yourself from the school of the spirit God is calling you to return back in the name of Jesus when I began my discussion we shared the scripture that said God desires number one that all men be saved and then that they come to the knowledge of the truth i was so humbled and touched when i saw several people outside with their hearts hungry and open and several others up the balcony and around here i know that every time god allows for a people to come this way it is because he adds daily as many as should be saved the business of being saved is not just about christianity i have taught you without that admission into the kingdom you are perpetually a victim of satan darkness in its entirety the authorized escape route from darkness and the authorized admission into the kingdom is jesus it is only through the living christ that we have access to this life and this grace wherein we stand i want to give an opportunity right now for two groups of people in one please let me have your attention you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus i came for this conference but whilst you were speaking the holy ghost began to talk to me that i need to make it right with jesus or you are here and you are saying apostle i once made this decision but sincerely i cannot say in truth that right now my life is intact with god i want to give you an opportunity very quickly 
the hall is full so I'm not going to ask you to come out but what I will ask you to do very boldly if we can let's try it and see if it works for those up the balcony who are making this decision I just want you to move forward and come just in front there and then those in here let's try to see if we can just squeeze one or two people at the aisles because I need to see the people those outside you will do the same um, at least just move forward let someone an official outside just guide them on where to stand after I lead you to pray you'll be directed on what else to do I want to count one to five someone who is bold and not ashamed come and stand God bless you let's appreciate them come come I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that he died for me Two, come I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that he died for me I'm seeing an auditorium I hope there are people from that 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 hall who are coming to the front if there are people celebrate them as they come to the front God bless you the hall on the screen and every other place God bless you God bless you God bless you hallelujah four and finally five I want to salute everyone who has come if you are still coming please move forward I want to see you because I want us to pray together Listen to me, beloved people of God. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. It is the noblest thing to do in this side of God's kingdom to make this decision to accept the Lordship of Jesus as Savior and Lord and Christ. This is officially your admission into the kingdom, into a life of victory, into the kingdom of light, even his dear son. So I'm going to lead you, young and old, you have come, declaring your faith in Jesus as I lead you through this simple prayer I want you to repeat after me um, those outside I'm sure you can see and hear me and for someone who is watching online perhaps you are watching by way of television following from the internet or perhaps watching a rebroadcast and the Lord is saying to come make this decision hallelujah I know that you are being given cards now but let me plead that you suspend filling the cards for a moment and then I'll leave you to pray when you pray I'll direct you on what else to do all of you who are in front, please let me ask you, lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender and say this from the depth of your heart as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin right now. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. I go for whatever and backward never amen. amen keep your wonderful hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come declaring your lordship over their lives and the bible says as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away i declare that you honor their profession of faith and in the name of jesus we declare that you are recipients of eternal life indeed the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life from tonight we call you sons of light and we decree and declare that darkness is on its way out of your life never to return again in jesus name now two instructions very quickly please can you give me one of these cards just for you to see thank you you'll be given a card like this if you have not gotten a card like this like the one i'm holding please be patient keep standing until you are given a card like this you would be expected to fill the card please fill it as as clear as you can and then i'm sure that um 
the one half most likely would be for you whereas the other you would pass it to the counselors are they going to follow the counselors or they just feel just a moment okay so you are going to feel it while you are standing now please don't go back to your seat with it um, if they don't have pens virus to write someone do well be a good Samaritan help them with the pen so that they feel it right here in front we're patient to allow you um it's yours please complete it and then you hand it over to the counselors and then i'm sure that afterwards you'll be back to your seat and um when and when they do call for those who just gave their lives to christ please do well to identify with them so that you can be followed up properly in jesus name now just two instructions and then we're done tomorrow hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching